Tasha Kay and her husband Sheck have been married for about 20 years. When Cardi B was suing Tasha Kay here in Atlanta, Sheck was in court with her every single day by her side. They just wave to the winos, Tasha Kay. Let's give a wave to the winos. They said you won't speak, Tasha Kay. She's high to the winos. While Tasha Kay was over in Africa trolling Cardi B about Cardi B's money, Sheck was over there with Tasha Kay renewing their wedding vows. When Tasha was in bankruptcy court after losing to Cardi B, Sheck stood by Tasha Kay at all times while she plunged her family deep into insolvency. Men have even threatened to beat Sheck up because of Tasha Kay beefing. Talk about some shit that your husband edited. However, shut up. Shut up. However, shut up. Who are you saying shut up to? You, you a trifling black. Are you, you a trifling black. Don't play with my fucking girl. Tell your husband to see okay. me. Tell your fucking husband to see me. You motherfucking dirty black. Does that make you feel better? No, nah, it's gonna make me better when you tell your husband to pull up. My husband. We can handle it. Not a thug. He's corporate. He don't. He don't. He doesn't pull up. He's he's not a thug. He doesn't carry a gun or anything. Mm mm. We don't need no guns. We don't need no guns. Tony, but he don't he fight don't either. No Come on, guns. my husband works right behind computers. Come on, Tony. He, he's not. He's not about that life. Seriously. Now Tasha K apparently has made a video where she admits to cheating on Check. This is gonna be interesting. I've been married for six years. So me and my husband got married when I was twenty-five. I'm now, you know, going on thirty-one. Okay. And it just kind of seems like the like the flame in our marriage is kind of firing down. He's a great provider and a great father, but when it comes to like that emotional and that Let me stop it right there, guys. What you heard her say was that he's a great provider and a great father. I can tell you as a 20-year divorce attorney that the vast majority of you men get married thinking that your number one job is to bring home the bacon. So in this situation, most of you would think you're doing a great job in your marriage, right? Nope. <laughs> There's still more to do. Apparently there are problems now in the bedroom Sex, my sexual needs he's not really fulfilling that and it's just kind of like i've tried to talk to him about it and he's just kind of like that is not my smoke detector you know he really he's prideful like he really doesn't feel like he wants to hear what he does wrong but it's so frustrating because i'm not sexually or emotionally getting what i need girl what should i do mm, okay so that hit home for me i went through the same thing okay you're in your 20s you get married y'all you say you got kids right Tasha k says she went through the same thing and i can honestly tell you that this is a very common problem in long-term marriages yep i got one i got a two-year-old okay all right so y'all got a baby that takes away from any intimacy because all your energy is spent with the baby and then yeah. you connect emotionally. Guys, this is one of the things that y'all don't appreciate when you get married. You do not understand, you don't even consider how a child is gonna change your marriage. Everything that Tasha K is saying is correct. You know what I'm saying? Even though y'all probably had this great marriage where you started, but then the kids come in and the babies is probably sleeping beside you or waking you up at night. Literally, yeah. You have to go to work. That's not his fault. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Like, yes, you guys, in a marriage, I've been married almost 20 years, and this happened early on in my marriage. Unfortunately, in my marriage, right, when it was happening, I stepped outside of the marriage. Okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> Tasha is admitting, hey, I stepped outside in my marriage. And this is how a lot of women solve this sexual dilemma, guys. Your wife will simply let another man in between her legs. How would that make you feel as a husband who is a great father and a great provider? Salute to Tasha K for admitting this. This is a very common marriage dynamic. That didn't solve anything no. at all. It made things worse. OK, and so because as women, we're emotional beings, you, you have to understand, like marriage goes through waves, right? Mm -hmm. And you have to consider the parameters around like what is going on, like what happened to cause you guys to be emotionally distant from each other? Tasha K is saying you have to find out what caused you guys to be emotionally distant from one another. And see, this is the problem with one woman asking another woman why a man won't sleep with the woman. Tasha just said that women are emotional beings, so obviously she's gonna look at this through an emotional perspective. But men will see this from another way. In the majority of cases where a husband is not sleeping with his wife, it's not because the husband is emotionally distant. We're gonna see if Tasha K 
figures this out. If you're a man, put in the comments as to why you think this man stopped sleeping with his wife. We'll see if Tasha K asks the real questions. To me, it sounds like the baby in life. Yeah. And so right. now that the baby is getting older, does anybody watch the baby? Do you guys have a mom that can watch the baby? Tasha bringing up the baby is a good point. A lot of times babies will put a damper on that bedroom activity. Do it just feels like it's, it's kind of like one of those things where like we'll be fine. Like you said, marriage is in waves. So like our goal is my goal is I love my husband. I don't want to leave my husband or step out on my husband. You know what I mean? I'm kind of at that point where I'm like, I'm go. like I'm trying to tell you how I feel and you're not, you know what I mean? Respecting other. I don't know if he just gets what I'm saying. Like sexually, like before we got married, he was like having sex all the time. We were talking, we were communicating and it just kind of seems like he doesn't care to put in that effort anymore. Do y'all hear that? The lady says that before the marriage, they were having sex all the time. Now it's dried up. Why would that be? Consider it from a man's perspective, since he's the one that doesn't want to have sex with her. Kind of frustrating. You know what I mean? Like, I've tried doing date nights. I've tried, like, getting some freaky stuff going on in our bedroom. Like, every like everything you can think of, and it's just really, like, not registering to him. So I don't know if it's just... But you're forcing it, right? And, and like, how's your financial yeah. situation going on? Is your finances good on both ends? Is he working and you're not working? What's I like this. Tasha is really trying to get to the bottom of it. Doing divorces for two decades, I can tell you that Tasha's point about the finances is a good one. If a man is not making the type of money that he wants, then that's going to cause stress in a marriage, really on both sides. And neither party is going to want to sleep with the other. No, Are you a stay-at-home mom? Yes, ma'am. So I'm a stay-at-home mom right now. Um, I am going to school to be a lawyer. So that's currently what I'm doing. And then he's working full time. Y'all tired, baby. That man tired. <laughs> I still right. need some dick, Tasha. I'm oh. tired. I get it. You know what I'm saying? I, I do get that. But you have to understand, there's going to be waves where you don't want to fuck, right? Right. But, and then he's going to want to. And then vice versa. And then he's working. And you're going to school. And then there's a child. He ain't thinking about no See right now, he's thinking about how he could keep this this roof over his head. And when he come home, baby's draining him. You want to drain him? You know what happens when you come? You tired. But what you gotta yeah. do is you can't force it on him. Tasha's trying, but she's really not addressing the real issue. The issue is that this lady needs sex right now. This lady's sexual needs are not being met. Tasha is trying to explain to this woman why her sexual needs are not being met. When a woman's real need is not being met, she doesn't really care why why it's not being met. She needs it met. Husbands can explain to wives until they're blue in the face about why this isn't occurring or why that isn't occurring. But if the wife has a real need, none of that explanation is going to matter. Real needs must be met for a relationship to work. You have to literally put it in a way where you set up, you get the baby, you know what I'm saying? And maybe y'all just start with just some intimate nights, not with sex. You see what I'm saying? Maybe it's just like, let's just go have dinner. Let's go see a movie. Let's work on just being friends without the baby being in the marriage because that's where a lot of marriages unfortunately break down mm, because right. like I was a stay at home mom right I didn't have to work even though I chose to work I've always been a busy body my husband has always held it down and so like he's working 12 15 hour shifts and stuff I'm at home talking baby talk all day it get real boring up in there and then when you finally get out you know what I'm saying you're out with your girlfriends and then a motherfucker pay you attention yes. and your husband at work all day you end up you you know, well, because I I personally believe the universe can smell vulnerability. vulnerability. They yeah. can smell that shit on you. And I wouldn't be surprised if you was already approached by somebody. Uh -oh. Multiple people. And that's uh -oh. the thing. I don't want to leave my person. You know what I mean? That's why I'm like, let's talk through it. He's just not emotional at all. Like, he's just not that person or that guy but where he, he talks about his feelings. But he was emotional when you met him, right? Yeah. No, no. He was not emotional when she met him. He was having sex with her when she met him. The woman's problem is not that he's not emotional. The woman's problem is that he doesn't want to have sex with her anymore. Now the question is, why not? As a man, I suspect that it has very little to do with emotion. Let's see if Tasha K asked the right questions to ferret this out. It's still there. It's just life is in the way. And you right. guys are at that six, seven year mark. If you end up doing something right now that goes out 
outside of that marriage covenant, you guys are going to have more problems on top of what you already Facts. got. You yeah. guys are going to get through this cycle. It's a cycle that everybody hits. And that's why you see a lot of couples that hit divorce before 10 years. Fortunately for me, <clears throat> and my side of the family and his side of the family, they ain't letting no divorce go down, okay? Tasha is exactly right about this. Families will try, some families, a few families in 2023, will try to keep marriages together. And a lot of couples need that. If you just leave it up to the two people, sometimes they won't make it. But if they have the backing of a family, if they have a backing of a network of a community, that can help them stay together. Same. They're literally not saying, even, like, they, they don't even want to hear it. Uh, a marriage is a is a is an effort. Okay. And so, you know, he stepped out, I stepped out early in the marriage, right? Oh, check. Check stepping out too. Oh, damn. What are y'all doing? Shout out to Check. And it right. be like you really love this person, you want to be with this person. Who stepped out kids, first? Y'all got debt, y'all got all this shit. And it's like, well, how do we get back to what brought us together? And that's what you got to do. And you have to keep people that are serving you out your business. True. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't be talking to your girlfriends. Don't be talking if your mama don't like him. Don't talk to her about him. You know, y'all just work on just being friends. You know, watching games together, going to do stuff together. And I guarantee you that will all come back up because that's the reason why y'all fell in love in the first place. Right. Thank you so much. Tasha did a good job giving some solid advice, but she didn't want to ask the real question. Here's the question. You're a stay-at-home mom? Yes. You just had a baby a couple of years ago? Yes. You guys ready? Have you gained a significant amount of weight? That's the question. Tasha didn't want to ask that. It's natural for women, especially stay-at-home moms like this lady, to gain weight. It's also completely natural for women to gain weight during their pregnancy and have a hard time losing it after the birth of their child. Also, also, I can tell you as a 20 year divorce attorney that when people get married, they feel like they already have the person locked in and now they start to get a little comfortable. Now they start to relax. They start to let themselves go. This is a fundamental reason why attraction can be lost in a marriage. But Tasha didn't want to bring that up because she didn't want to hurt this lady's feelings. Plus, the vast majority of Tasha's audience is female, so of course she doesn't want to alienate them. But this line of question should have been asked if Tasha was really trying to get to the truth. Men have a much easier time sleeping with someone who they are physically attracted to. Also, and Tasha didn't mention this either, but let's be honest. Women, if your man is not having sex with you for weeks or months, it could be that he's having sex with someone else. It came out in this conversation that the woman is a stay-at-home mom, but the guy has a full-time job. One line of questioning should have focused in on his workplace. Are there a lot of women? Does he have someone that directly reports to him that is a woman? Does he have a work wife? I've been handling divorces for two decades. There is nothing that can derail a marriage faster than a work wife. If you're a woman and your man is not having sex with you on a regular basis that is a huge red flag but what do you guys think did tasha k give this lady good advice what would you have advised this lady to do let me know in the comments